Number 67. What is the ratio of heights to which ethyl alcohol and water are raised by capillary action in the same glass tube? Now, this problem is identical to number 66. All right, so I talked about the theory in depth in that question. If you want to understand the theory, check out that problem. All right, number 66. This one, I'm just going to do the calculation. So what we need to know is we need to know the formula that relates height and the capillary action of, of a fluid in a tube. So we have the formula that height will be equal to two, uh, will be equal to two multiplied by the surface tension of the fluid multiplied by the cosine of the contact angle between the fluid and the walls of the container, and then divided by the density of that particular fluid multiplied by gravity multiplied by the radius of the tube. All right, so now we're trying to find the ratio of heights uh, to ethyl alcohol and water. It doesn't say ethyl alcohol to that of water or water to that of ethyl alcohol. So the ratio is a little ambiguous. I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to read it. Put this one up on top, this one down on the bottom. And um, yeah, I mean, you could do it the other way. It'd just be, a negative, it'd be the reciprocal ratio, but the ratio would mean the same thing. It doesn't change the meaning. So the height then of the, we'll call it the ethyl alcohol or the height of the alcohol divided then by the height of the water will be equal to if we we would now plug all of these variables in for the heights but I know some of them are going to be constant so I'm just going to cancel them. the two stays the same the gravity stays the same and the radius of the tube stayed the same so now it's going to be the surface tension of the alcohol multiplied by the cosine of the contact angle between the alcohol oops between the alcohol and the glass all divided then by uh, the density of the alcohol. This is all now divided then by the surface tension of the water multiplied by the cosine of the contact angle between the water and the glass divided then by the pr uh, density of the water. So let's plug in the values. All right. So now uh, the surface tension of that of alcohol, it's over here, right? It is 0 0.0223 times in the cosine of that contact angle for ethyl alcohol and glass is zero degrees, all then divided by, and actually that's also gonna stay constant, I didn't even look at it forward, but you can actually cancel this because both, if you notice, ethyl alcohol and glass and water and glass are the same. So actually what I'm gonna do, just cancel this out of your equation as well. So now we'll have a more simplified equation, just make it easier on us. So now it's just going to be uh, surface tension point of ethyl alcohol, so it's point zero, uh, 0 0.0223, all divided by then the density of ethyl alcohol that I think should be about 790 kilograms per cubic meter. And then divide that now by the surface tension of water. So we have that now, where is it? So we have three values. Which one do you choose? I'm going to split the middle. I talked about in the prior problem. So 0 0.0728, all divided then by the density of the water. We're assuming it's fresh water, so it's 1,000. Throw this on into the calculator. And then 0 0.0223 divided by 790, and then that answer then divided now by 0 0.0278, oh no, excuse me, 0 0.0728, uh, divided by 1,000. And we have a ratio here now, so the height of the alcohol relative to the height of the water will be equal to 0 0.388 uh, over one. All right, this is unit less, in terms of the pictures on the prior problem, I want you to figure out what the picture should look like uh, for the ratio between these two heights, all right, inside of the capillary tube in the basin. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Hope this helped. Please remember to subscribe. See you next time.